handle the thing. Answer that, somebody. Hello? Please bring a dozen more of the breakfast plates down to the pool right away. The breakfast plate? The blue and white ones. Second shelf for the window. Hurry up. Okay, coming right up. Your breakfast, miss. Oh, thank you. Good morning, Miss Abby. Good morning. Oh, Abby, darling, bless you. <laughs> Have you everything you want, everyone? Now that you're here, everything, honey child. <laughs> Abby, my pet, you're such a divine hostess. You're spoiling us hopelessly. Really, I'm already dreading the day I have to leave. <laughs> Speaking as the oldest guest in this charming resort, so am I. Why, John. Don't be so naive, Abby. What's your bid? Oh, good morning, Bob. I didn't see you. Oh, I'm trying my best to be inconspicuous. He's being very mysterious, Abby. Won't tell us a thing about where he disappeared to after dinner last night. Yeah, that's me, man of mystery. Uh-oh. I could have made a grand slam with half of what you had. I'd like to see you bid a grand slam. Let's see you make a grand splash. Oh! You take them one by one and throw them at the guests. Oh, Bob. No, I'm a little somebody did say Come one. Here. Hey, let's go. See, what's the idea? What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? When were you engaged? This morning. Do you mind? Get back in the house. That's so funny. You name it. I can't. <laughs> don't kid me. This is a gag. It's marvelous. Whose idea was it? I don't know. Judge Thatcher's. Maisie's my award for two months. Two long, happy months. Oh, 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 That's a marvelous idea. What is it this time? Well, it's that stupefying challenge to the intellect, the headless woman from the Marlowe Brothers' Carnival. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing.